Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. It's gonna be episode ten, featuring the Castle Breaker Mark IV by Poldarn. Gonna be taking on the T34 model of 1942 by Thunder Panzer. This thing is just. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I love this design, but uh, we'll get to that in just a second. First, we have the Castle Breaker by Poldarn, and also very nice looking in a different way, but just does not not quite the level of of detail that we see on uh, its uh, its opponent here. I'm sure though, as uh, I've I've seen quite a few Poldarn designs in the past. I'm sure this one will be very effective. Alright, so we have the main castle breaker here. Very cool shape. Looks like it has a bunch of armor out here on the front. You can see that heavy armor. Let's see what's in here. Okay, some turrets. Are those fixed? Oh, now I'm really confused. It looked like an APS gun, but I don't... Oh, no, it's a steam engine. Okay, there we go. So, thick metal shield into steam engine, into ammo stores, as well as a fuel engine. And then the turrets in the back. And then it looks like these must be... Are these turrets as well? I'm, I'm guessing these are probably turrets as well on the uh, side here. Are these crams? Oh, they are. No, oh, wait, no, that doesn't... Is that crams? Yeah, it looks like cram blocks. Alright, so crams on the sides and then APS uh, turrets on the top here. Don't be fooled by the, uh, the stubby barrels. Those are some serious guns. And then uh, helping out the Castle Breaker, we have several Javelin scooters. It's like missile deploying or possibly uh, mine layers as well. I'm guessing it looks more like a uh, missile turret to me. Oh, that's an interesting way to have your wheels go. It looks like these must slide side to side. That's cool. Alright, so this is the Castle Breaker by Poldarn. Gonna be taken on the T-34 model of 1942 by Thunder Panzer. I have to say it like that. He put an exclamation point at the end of his name, so I feel like that is the uh, the correct way to pronounce it. Yeah, this thing is just fantastic. I just the, the level of detail is just fantastic. The uh, I don't I don't remember. It's like the, the machine gun in the front. I don't, it probably has like a uh, proper tank name, but it's uh, the machine gun sticking out the front. Looks like the little uh, window for the driver, possibly the uh, the commander, the cupola turret and uh, looks like simulating the uh, the single barrel with several um, smaller guns I say smaller because, because it's not one giant barrel but uh, some big guns and yeah the turret goes all the way inside and yeah you can see lots of armor lots of um, ERA armor this thing's this thing's good looking, but it's also designed to fight. All right, so this is the T34 model of 1942 by Thunder Panzer. Going to be taking on the Castle Breaker by Poldarn. Let's get this unpaused. Get the battle underway. 
get the avatar out of the crossfire. And here we go. Both sides exchanging fire. Yeah, it looks like the Javelin scooters are kind of sliding their missiles along. Oh, and now it makes sense. Javelin scooters as the missiles scoot along the ground. Oh, and that is having a terrible effect. Look at, uh, it's just taking out the movement immediately. The T-34 sits up on those uh, tracks and uh, just really taking a big hit to its movement right away. Oh, taking sh shots to the front as well. Oh man, look at the, oh, 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 this is a pummeling. Looks like we've lost a couple Javelin scooters, but I believe the Castle Breaker is 100%. I'm gonna give it just a quick pause so we can sort of cruise around and uh, take a look at everything. Yeah, the uh, Javelin, Javelin scooters doing a good job. Looks like they're kind of just backing up and then like sliding those missiles along the ground. It looks so funny, but it is super effective. It's like this one getting taken out right here. It's a uh, shot from the T-34. And the, the main castle breaker looks totally unaffected. It's got uh, a few dark spots here on the front armor, but that's about it. And it is just laying down the dock. You can see those shells are gigantic. And yeah, just look at how many are in the air on the way over here. This does have shielding, but it looks like the, the shells are still managed to get damage through those shields. Let's get it unpause. Yeah, it looks like the uh, shells detonate on impact probably heat. Yeah, that definitely looks like heat to me. Oh, and then that cram hit right there. Yeah, I think the T-34 might be done. It's still firing shots, but it has just really taken a lot of damage. Oh, and there goes the turret. It's all over. That yeah, two damage. That is that is unfortunate. But uh, I kind of I kind of expected that. Uh, like I said, Pulled Iron has uh, entered quite a few of my tournaments. And uh, he's always he's always got something a little bit different and unique, and always very effective. And uh, the T34 was just so beautiful. I'm so glad we're gonna get to see it at least one more time down in the secondary bracket. But uh, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.